Now, it's every parent's biggest fear. Your baby stops breathing. You manage to call an ambulance, but it's still on its way. This is what happened to Joe Payne just before Christmas. But luckily, PC Steve Norton was on patrol in the area. He grabbed baby Harrison in his arms and ran with him in his full-body police armour to the nearest A&E department. Thankfully... You've got your hiccups suddenly. Yeah, He's been sitting so quietly. Aww. It has a very happy ending. Joe, Steve and baby Harrison are with us now. Good morning to you. Morning. Hello, you. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what happened to baby Harrison that day? Well, um, Harrison was actually born at 26 weeks. He was born very, very premature. Mm. Um, so spent the first part of his life in hospital. Um, when I brought him home, um, after two days, I was checking on him and he was unresponsive. Mm. Um, I went over to his cot and popped him on his side and he projectile vomited out of his nose and mouth. Oh, goodness. Um, I picked him up immediately mm. and um, then I noticed that, he, you know, you, with a four pound baby, you have to look really hard to see if they're breathing. Mm. And I couldn't, I couldn't see him breathing. Um, you know, his eyes were still. Um, so I placed him on my bed yeah. and I started to perform CPR, which I'd been taught in hospital um, maybe about a week before I brought him home. And you called 999? So I called 999 at the same time of trying yeah. to do the CPR. Um, Harrison, thank goodness, um, you know, started to breathe. He coughed and started to shallow breathe. And with that, I immediately ran outside. Um, and that's when I was met with PC Steve Norton here, who was fantastic. And Steve, you were in the area and got the call from the operator. Yeah, yeah. And you turned up, and what happened? Um, I met Jo outside on the footpath, and uh, she just sort of trying to assess the situation, and she just sort of handed him to me and just said, I don't know what else to do. Unfortunately, you're quite close to a hospital, so you're, you're yeah. thinking, am I waiting for an ambulance? But actually, Steve, you took it on yourself. You thought, do you know what, I'm going to get to the hospital before the ambulance is going to get here. Yeah, that was the decision I'd made. Yeah. I couldn't, couldn't see an ambulance arriving. Um, I could see the hospital from where we were. And uh, I thought, some, I've got to do something. And, uh, and you yeah. grabbed him and started running? Yes. And, and I'd imagine that, although it's not the longest distance in the world, it would have felt like a marathon to get there in time to hand yeah, him over to... It was quite a stressful run. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, just to, to try and keep an eye on him, not drop him. Of oh, course. Goodness. Not run into a lamppost or and anything like that. And he was like significantly and, uh, tinier, of course. He was tiny, this. absolutely fragile, yeah. I mean, the, yeah. and you're wearing, um, at the time, you're wearing the body armour, which you've got uh, with you now, which, yeah. is, which weighs more than a stone yeah. in weight. With the belt as well. With the belt, so yeah. you're, you're sort of weighed down with this, this tiny little baby yeah. in your hands, and presumably going through your head is just got to get there as quickly as possible. I just, just thought if it was my son, I'd want to get him the help the qu as quickly as possible yeah, yeah. Um, so it was a, a calculated decision what did you think Joe when when you've handed the baby over to Stephen and he, he runs off because you're, you're <laughs> still at home by then you've got to then get yourself to the to the hospital of course uh, I mean he's a police officer I wasn't handing him over to any I, I just knew that that Steve would you know and I, I mean he was amazing he acted like a dad that day he was he just you know, non-hesitant decision, just literally went. He didn't stand there sort of debating what to do, getting on the... You know, he just Took went. Control. Yeah. Um, I know. incredible. As a result, obviously, you've got a very special bond, haven't you? Yeah. You know, he's a hero to you. I know you wanted to say thank you in a special I, way, didn't yes, you, Joe? Yes, I would, I would. Um, it's something very, very small. I know, it's something very small. Um, there's no words that can describe my gratitude for what you did. You really, you know, you're incredible. Um, it's just a little key ring from me and Harrison. Lovely. That's absolutely and fantastic. And it's got an inscription on the front and the back saying forever thankful, which we are. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. There you go, Steve. I, I, it's all in a day's work, I, I suppose, in, in many ways, but what you managed to do will never be forgotten by these two here and it's lovely to see what a lovely relationship that you're going to have. Yeah, I regard him as a friend now. Yeah, yeah. which Thanks is lovely to see. That's <laughs> fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and it's lovely to see Harrison looking so well. Is he doing really well now? He's doing... It is unstoppable. Is he? <laughs> really? It's unstoppable. That's what I mean, we want he's, to hear. he's just everything and more. He, he really is. He's been a fighter from right from the start and I'd just like to sort of say to anybody, new mums, anybody, just, you know, Take a CPR course, yes. you know, it really is worth it. Mm. Your local nurseries do it. Um, so, in a big hello to the neonatal stuff at St George's. Yeah, who are fantastic, <laughs> of fantastic. course. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us. Thanks, well, of course, that act of kindness was, uh, you know, sort of part of your job, but you did 
literally go the extra mm. mile. We are talking about acts of kindness this morning uh, because, of course, we had the story on Monday about Sammy, the young mum. And little Rylan. Little yeah. Rylan, and then that stranger on a train gave her a note or left a note for her saying what an incredible mum yeah. she was, and that moved her so much. So you've been getting in touch with your random acts of kindness. Yeah, uh, I d uh, all sorts of extraordinary things. Olivia has, has uh, emailed in saying, an elderly lady fell in the street I saw as I rode past my scooter. Mm. I stayed with her till the ambulance got there. She then wrote me a beautiful letter and invited me round for tea. Oh, that's lovely. And uh, Ian says a woman was carrying car battery up the road on a pram with a child in it. I walked past, took five seconds, went back and carried it for her to the car. I know it's hard to do something for someone when you don't know what their yeah. reaction will be, but it literally took him five seconds to realise that that's what he wanted to do. Julie, my partner and I went out for a meal after my partner had just come out of hospital. We got chatting to the table next to ours at the end of the night when it came to pay our bill. We were told it had be already been paid by them. We haven't seen them again to be able to say thank you. Also, a massive thank you to you if you're watching.